How's it going everybody? Hopfrog here, but you guys knew that or you wouldn't be here. <laughs> I decided to go on a little trip today. Today's, well actually tomorrow's my birthday on the 18th, but today's the 17th. So I decided to go record shopping at Dr. Strange Records. This is an awesome place. It's about 40, 50 miles from my house, but it is well worth the drive. This is an awesome place. When you go inside, it has a really cool feel. It feels like you're in somebody's house, just hanging out, going through record bins. These guys live stream on Facebook on Wednesdays and Fridays at 4 p.m. Pacific time. So check it out. All right, so here's the haul, guys. I got myself this uh, Doctor Strange t-shirt. It's got their logo right there on the sleeve. They're located in Alta Loma. They're at drstrange.records.com. Bat Boy. I love Bat Boy. <laughs> Bat Boy found a Doctor Strange Records browsing on the Rare Records aisle. Punk rock music world news. So I got that shirt for myself. Got a Dag Nasty album. I got this. This just came out for record release day. The Clash. Uh, it's interviews along with music, which is pretty cool. And then I bought this 12-inch um, single here by a band called Specimen. I actually found them doing kind of a search for just different music. And they're considered dark wave from London's Bat Cave, and it has a little thing it says here. It says, born in London's Bat Cave, specimen are nothing else but metaculi cavernous. A mildly crew and kiss make complete idiots of themselves from beer or broads. At least specimen does it with fashion and flair. Once again, the music is heavy rock with either of a sense of camp or just dark dankness. Depend on how your listeners feel to perceive it. I go for the track, especially the seven paws on Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Great song. Check it out. And then I got the CD here. Let me get out of the sun so you can see. Got the CD here by Super Chunk. It's a pretty cool band. Remember them. Best of Punk Rock Compilation Volume 2. Hey, should I Stay? Should I Go? Has The Clash, New York Dolls, X, Eddie and the Hot Rods. X-ray specs, the dictators, the adverts, the members, and television. Very cool. Then I found this too. This is awesome. This is like a double disc thing of the Go Go's Live. It's the Go Go's Return to the Valley of Go Go's. I always like the Go Go's. As you can see, I listen to a lot of different stuff. Mostly new wave punk, some metal. Well, actually, a lot of metal. <laughs> this is everything, but um. Country. I, if I'm with somebody and they're playing country, I won't like throw a fit and ask them to turn it off. But I don't go out of my way to listen to it. So that's that. All right. Thank you for watching this. There's the place, Doctor Strange Records. I just decided to add this little bit here after the fact. A few days ago, I went to Doctor Strange Records, and I made the video that you saw. I was going to ask to film inside, but I felt kind of weird, but, you know, so I didn't. I'm going to post some pictures. You'll see some pictures in this video of what the place looks like, but I want to go over what I bought. You saw the shirt already. It's pretty cool. It says Punk Rock World News with Bat Boy, and I'm... Got that shirt. I'm going to be actually wear that shirt on my live stream on Friday night. So look for that. I just wanted to show you what I picked up while I was there. CDs. I I usually buy used CDs rather than brand new ones because you can get a lot more music for a lot less. And CDs, people usually buy them 
uh, rip the music off to store into their computer, then transfer to a phone or an MP3 player or something like that, some type of streaming thing. So I get this one here. This is the best of punk rock volume two. Look at that dude. He's got his tongue sticking out easily right in the midst of the pit action shot right there. This has The Clash, New York Dolls, X, Eddie and the Hot Rods, X-Ray Specs, The Dictators, The Adverts, The Members, and Television. Again, some good old school punk rock right there. I listen to mostly metal, but I'm, you know, I've listened to that stuff too. People go, you listen to a lot of weird stuff. You listen to like a lot, a wide variety of stuff. Picked up this, I think this is like a, Maxi CD only has a few songs on here. This is Super Chunk, a popular band in the 90s. Real uh, grungy. So you got punk rock, you got grunge covered. And I picked up this. This is really cool. This is a lot of rarities and B-sides and stuff. This is the Go-Go's Return to the Valley of the Go-Go's. It's a double disc set. Has a lot of their famous songs, uh, Vacation, Head Over Hills, Can't Stop the World. Um, we got the beats on here, I'm, I'm sure. Our lips are sealed. It's, I'm gonna, yeah, it's on here. We got the beat, and it's the single version of that. But then there's also a lot of unreleased stuff, stuff that they actually recorded. Someone says it was recorded during just rehearsals. They're just, you know, which is pretty cool, you know. Have the have the tape machine going because they used to use tape, <laughs> and just record yourself as you're working out some stuff. Got an idea for a song, put on tape, get a rough mix of it, then you can kind of adjust as you go. It's always, you know, that's one thing that really fascinates me is seeing the whole process of making music. I love all aspects of music, but the recording aspect, how the person got inspired. Went in, started working on it, reworking it till the finished product. The whole process is exciting to me. I like the whole thing, so it's good. I actually went to this record store and I bought a couple records. Um, this one, they go, let me back up a little bit. Uh, this, this place is called Doctor Strange Records, as you've seen in here. They do live streaming, as I mentioned in the video, on Facebook, Doctor Strange Records, every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. And every Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. And if you want something, you got to be quick. You, you just say dibs on whatever happens to be going on. You can say, you call it out, dibs, the name of the record. And if you're the first one there, they'll put it off to the side. And you got to be quick. And this one, I wasn't sure if I got it. This is actually a 12 inch single, it's a promotional copy. It says right there at the bottom promotion, not for sale. This is by a band called Specimen. They're what's kind of like a early proto-goth kind of thing. Um, it's pretty cool. I was searching for music on YouTube, just listen to some different things and whatnot. And there's a thing called Bat Cave Music, so I listened to a bunch of stuff. This was one of the bands that was on here. So it's kind of like more, I guess you'd call it Dark Wave. And it says right here, there's a little thing by this guy, it says... Born in London's Bat Cave, specimen are, if nothing else, met met metallically <laughs> cavernous. And while Motley Crue and Kiss make complete idiots of themselves for beer and broads, at least specimen does it with fashion and flair. Once again, the music is heavy rock with either a, song, a strong sense of camp or just plain darkened dankness, depending on how your listeners choose to perceive it. I go for all six tracks, especially the seven second pause on Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And that's a song, that's the only song I heard, but I bought this. Uh, it has another song called Returning from a Journey, which is another single. It's released on Sire Records. Is there a date on here? 1984. Pre goth, like I said. It's kind of like a post punk kind of, kind of vibe. Really good. I really like that. Um,. Another band that I used to listen to quite a bit was this band here, Dag Nasty. 
And these guys are on uh, Ian McKay's uh, uh, label Discord. Discord Records, he put a lot of stuff. Really good stuff. Kind of in the vein of like Minor Threat, if you haven't heard them. Similar, but at the same time a lot different. Really good stuff. Some good old school punk rock. When was this recorded? Um, this was with Sean on vocals. And this has nine songs on it. And it looks like... Um, yeah, it looks like this was recorded Halloween Day 1985. Back when people... Whoa, almost lost them. <laughs> Back when people used to record... Music played live in the room. Let me get that again. See, they just got all their amps and stuff set up. They're just playing live right in the room, recording as they go. That's pretty. That's the way. That's the way people used to do it, kids. <laughs> that's how records used to be made. And this had just come out on the seventeenth. This is called "If Music Could Talk," and this is put out by the Clash. The double album. There's words and music by the Clash. So you get to hear in their own words what was behind the music. And the interview was was used to promote their release Sandinista. Which is pretty cool. This is called If Music Could Talk. You can see there's an old picture of the band right there. Good stuff. Looking forward to cracking the shrink wrap off that and giving it a listen if I don't drop them on the ground. <laughs> that is, That was my haul. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing it. So I'm going to do some more stuff. Building on my record collection little by little by little, so... It's taken me some time. Thanks. Have a good one. We'll see you real soon.